Let's talk about John Jones. Bones Jones, UFC lightweight heavy, uh, light heavyweight, excuse me, champion. He is vacating his UFC title. Now, have you seen all the stuff that's come out about this? No, I didn't know that until you told me. You you texted me about it earlier. Dana White uh, obviously did not want to give him a bunch of money to jump up. And we have seen stars across all these different divisions either jump up or jump down in weight class in order to make mega fights. John Jones wanted to jump up to heavyweight to fight Francis Naganu. Now, he has knocked out four straight dudes in record time. It is ridiculous, right? Naganu is unbelievable. Um, now, he Naganu did lose to Skype Miokic. So, it, obviously, he's not undefeated. He's not whatever. But he is on a hell of a run right now. And he is a hot, hot name in the heavyweight division. Bones Jones, there's nobody else to fight in his division. He has proven everything that you could possibly prove. He's fought a couple of guys twice. He keeps winning these fights. The only fights that he uh, has not uh, gathered a win in were the ones where he tested positive for performance-enhancing substances, right? Uh, the Daniel Cormier stuff. Some of that, both of those, I think, are one. One or both was marked a no contest. Um, uh, I, think, I think both of them were. I think both of them. It, it, so he, he, he hasn't fought Cormier clean ever right but he did beat him both times but i understand but I, i'm if, not i'm not getting into if that he's I'm on just roids saying. and cormier is not then then you didn't beat him you cheated i understand because which is why they market, a a thing. they market a no contest and it is what it is uh on top of that uh bones jones obviously lots of trouble with the law lots of issues um he he does not help himself right nope. he just he doesn't help himself however Outside of Conor McGregor, he is the biggest name in the sport. He draws pay-per-views like nobody else that is going in UFC right now. It, if you go and look at the numbers, his pay-per-view numbers are astronomical compared to everybody else, right? So it, here's the deal. He wants out of his deal. He wants here's a new the thing. deal. He, he wanted a massive. Yeah. Uh, here we go. The Brown Yeti said he didn't win, but he didn't lose. And Damian said Conor McGregor's from Cuckooville. Uh, probably. Probably so. But... This uh, here we go, here we go. Matt Miller said from Crumlin, a suburb of Dublin. Uh, Dublin, they like to rhyme over there. So he was from Crumlin, Ireland, which is right outside of Dublin. All right. Anyway, back to this. Uh, Bones Jones wanted a ton of money. Yep. For this Nagano fight, and yep. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. I like, wouldn't have given him one nickel outside of his contract already. I don't think I would have either because you because can't trust he hasn't him. earned the right to demand anything. He can't stay clean. He can't stay out of trouble. Yes, he's a massive draw. Guess what? People who have drug problems are always going to need money. So he's going to take this fight on the contract he already has. He has no leverage whatsoever. Uh, Matt Miller said, respect to Jones and Liddell, though, for, sake, uh, for taking spray, can spray paint cans uh, from rioters and keeping order in their cities. Yes. Like, oh, that's no, no, the, yeah. That's what, the crazy what he's thing. Done, what he's done recently with the protests and stuff has been a big thing, and it's a good thing. Yes. He it, needs something to help change his image. But if I'm Conor McGregor, I'm his employer, I will not take anything away from you, but I will not give you anything more than we've already given you until you can show me. Now, I'll let you move up. I'll let you move to You do whatever you want to do. It's called you establishing trust. Yep. Right? But you have to show me you're going to fight this fight, and you're going to fight it clean. You're going to pass a piss test when we're done, and, and we're going to be okay. And the bonuses and incentives for the pay-per-view numbers are already built in. It's that's not right. like he's not going to get paid for those. That's again. right. That's right. I agree. I, that's it. And, and does he want a new contract? Sure. He's got to earn the right to have that money. You're, what you've done in the past, yes, your pay-per-views were massive, but – realistically, on paper, those two fights didn't exist because you screwed them up. Well, it's not just those two fights. I mean, the last one, because he hadn't fought Cormier in, in a couple of years. Well, I'm just now. talking about those but, two fights, though. Like, But outside you can't, of those. You can't show me those pay-per-view numbers and tell me this is why I deserve money. No, you messed those up. The those only, are a black eye in our sport because yes, of you. The only fighter that gets routine 1 million pay-per-view buys is Conor McGregor. It's Conor, that's right. However... Uh, Bones Jones gets about seven fifty average per 
And that no, is like fine. that is two hundred fifty thousand more than. And if he can fight everybody. two or three times clean and stay out of trouble, I, he can get his contract. Um. So along with this, Bones Jones also brought up the idea of moving down a weight division. Yep. He's not talking about necessarily getting out of UFC. Now he did bring up in one of his tweets about "let me out of my contract," etc. And then Dana White did come out and comment on it. And said hey, he's made enough money. That's fine if he wants to be out of his contract. That's cool. We don't necessarily need him. That's right. He can quit. I, I would. I would disagree. I think they do need him. I think that's uh, why I he don't, hadn't been I don't. penalized. He, okay, out of who needs who more, he needs them more than they need him. I think because he, he probably have right. Rev- he, with his background, he doesn't have another revenue stream. He's not very touchable or marketable for many things right now. Agreed. Agreed. Um, but he was talking about moving down a weight division to fight for the title down there against Israel Adesanya. Uh, Izzy is one hell of a fighter, and I would yep. I would love to see that fight. I'd be great if he moves up or down. He does. I would say but you ain't we, getting more we money both agree it. he needs to move weight classes to find somebody new to fight, right? We yes. agree on that. Yes, 100%. Yep. And I don't care if it's up or down. I, I really don't. I, I'll watch either one of them. It doesn't matter to me. I think you should probably move up. Uh, you move down. It, that's it's easier to move up. Yep. It's easier to put on weight. I mean, it just is. Yeah, it's, it's definitely harder to cut weight. Um, yep. But at the same time, when you cut, uh, you've still got 24 hours to put back on that weight. At, it, it might make for easier fights if you were to move down. Mm, so, when you cut weight, you you tend to lose a lot of muscle mass. Oh, yeah. 100%. He'll be lighter. He'll be faster. But but he'll he'll lose something. I, I want to see him fight. I want him I to care. fight. That's right. I want to see him fight, too. And yeah. I want to see him rehab his image a little bit. We love a – what do we love most in this – it's, it's a country. comeback story. We love a comeback story. Yes. We love it. If, if you're dominant from pillar to post, that's amazing. That's great. But but there's going to be a lot of people that just going to hate you for being dominant for so long. Okay? Yeah. We love a comeback story. Damian Estrada said John Jones should take the money and put himself in a recovery center. Now, he probably needs some rehab. And then yeah. maybe he's had rehab. I don't, I don't know anything about the man outside of when he – comes up in the news, which is never a good thing until yeah. yesterday. Yeah, pretty much. Yesterday uh, he had some good news about him, and that's awesome. We always enjoy the good news. Matt Miller said, does McGregor have any chance against Habib, Justin Gaethje, or Ferguson? 100%. Yeah, he's, he's got, he's got a chance against anybody he steps in the ring with if like, he really wants to fight. Let's let's not get it twisted here, okay? Uh, McGregor, regardless of how he went out against, uh, against Habib, and yeah. regardless of him losing to uh, Floyd Mayweather, whatever, he, he was going up against the best in the sport. Now, Floyd Mayweather's a joke. That was a, I understand. That was that's, a sideshow. Yes, it was 100% a sideshow. He was never going to lose that fight. Like That's the way it goes because that would, that thing was rigged from the beginning. But anyway, yes, uh, it was a spectacle. It was entertaining. You don't think so, but I thought it was. Nope. Whatever. Um, does he have a chance against those? Yes, he could beat Ferguson. I mean, you could absolutely batter Ferguson for however in a, long. In a fight, in a in a sport in which you throw punches, you strike one another. Anybody has a chance at anyone if they can slip a punch by somebody that they weren't expecting. You catch them clean, it's over. Yes, yes. Uh, I think he could beat Gaethje. Uh, I think he could beat Habib. Like yeah. I still to this day believe he could beat Habib. Habib. Would be a massive favorite over him probably. But I think Gaethje would too. But 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 well, I don't know that Gaethje would be as big of a favorite over him. I Not think as be, big, but I Habib think Habib would be. would be a pretty big favorite outside of the fact that Connor, if it was a fair line and not a skewed line, because Connor has a ridiculously huge fan base, then then it would be a pretty big. Oh, I mean underdog. Habib Habib should be like minus three hundred against yes. him. Maybe, he won't. He more. wouldn't be. He wouldn't be because no. Connor's just going to have so much money come behind him. Yeah, hundred percent. But it, that's the thing; he has got a massive left hand. A lot of people aren't used to those left hands. Uh, you, you get one good punch in there. I mean, you can yeah. end anybody's night. So that's right. the way it goes. Uh, Damien said McGregor against another bus. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the odds. Are. I don't know what they'd be on that one. Uh, let's close out the show with this. We've uh, we've gone pretty long today, and I'm uh, I, I feel pretty good about the show so far. So far. <laughs> Let's close out with this. 